is up everybody welcome back to another video today we are here with my custom 91 nissan hard body and we are over at the ruin car club lowrider slash mini truck show so we just cleaned up the truck there's a uh, quite a bit here already we're gonna go walk around and see what showed up and uh let's get to it i guess we gotta get some b-roll footage of the lowriders hitting switches hit mad switches in the morning i love to see it yeah, there's so much cool stuff here it's insane <laughs> so cool The boys on the lowrider bikes this is so so nasty actually so to start off the video uh not a lowrider but you guys had to see it it's a cool little fbr x7 i love these old factory style wheels toyota mazda a lot of different companies in japan were making some pretty nasty stock wheels back in the day i think maybe we just start walking down some of the lowrider line right over here we have steven's volvo the 940 turbo wagon sorry not a not a very common low rider which is just what makes it so nasty i love seeing things like this the chain steering wheel and he brought his town car i haven't seen this actually we've been talking a lot about him working on this build this is going to be a a hopper so this is so cool some of them been doing some burnouts oh man it's got some height on it back here Right over here is the yellow 64 Impala. Probably, again, just always craziest trunk setup I've ever seen. Like the time and work it goes into making. All those panels, the mirrors up at the top. The deck lid display is so sick. Engraved switch panel and all the airbrush work down the side. Visors on the headlights. All shaved, it's so nasty. This is a new one too, I have not seen this. We got a uh, Cadillac Fleetwood. I don't believe I've seen this one around. Low bro. Wow. <laughs> that, is, that is a serious setup in there. 14 batteries back here. I had, to, I had to pause and count that. I was like, whoa. Nasty. This thing probably gets down. Right over here is an Oldsmobile. We're gonna say Cutlass. Don't kill me on it, we're gonna go for it. All uh, all that like couch interior in here. It's cool wheel too, and a speedometer, it's a big rectangle. <laughs> With the exact replica mini car to match. I'll have to come get it in section so I don't get copyright strikes, but we got the nice Pontiac Bonneville. Another one I'm not sure if I've seen or not. Maybe. I don't recall. Nice white vinyl top. Ooh, it's tailored just sweet. And the chrome plates down the bottom. That's more of like an older, like like a late 80s kind of kind of style. Ooh, and we have not seen this one yet. Our uh, our friend Callie with the Lincoln Town car picked up this Monte Carlo and he's been uh been working on it and I'm excited to see what he does with it. Again, very cool wheel, that big plush interior. Um, with the blue wire wheels. That's cool, I even see some blue. The car must have been blue at one point, I figure. Right on the side is his town car. I love the plaques. It's like another big thing I love with the low riders is seeing the plaques just representing your, your club or crew is just so cool. Oh, look at that engraved presidential because it's the presidential town car. The wood grain going down the side of the Mercury Grand Marquis. I like the gold accents, especially on that steering wheel. The license plate frame, tinted taillights. Oh, actually, look at the vinyl, too. That's so dope. Right over here, we got the square body blazer. Nice sub set up back there. The pump's up high, that's nasty. I love the little visors too on the windows. So right over here, I believe this is a 63 with the uh, headlight visors, engraved spinners, and the red wall wheels too. Oh, I love all the little engraved things, just always 
get me. Sweet pinstriping. It is an SS Impala. 63, we got it. Run another Oldsmobile on this side. I believe this one is also a Cutlass. Loving the wheel setup with the gold. This is super cool too. I love seeing the pink Cadillac. Very crazy paint on this as well. All white interior. I love the TV actually. I didn't notice that before. Pretty clean interior as well. It's a broad game. Yeah, this is awesome. We got Dan rolling through in his four door F 150. Look at the big tubs on 24s, I believe, too. So dirty. So, we're gonna take a walk around Ronzoni's garage to date. We got the Mercedes chilling over here. Just a perfect, clean, solid car. We have his Viper right here, which is like, it's all new livery. I actually haven't shown you guys a new livery since uh, since he's done it. Now, actually, I actually really, really, really like this livery, especially like the 09 matching the interior is wild. Above and beyond for sure. And uh, here is a, an up and coming project is uh, this regular cab long bed Cummins that is going to be converted to a short bed. He already has the wheels on there. Some custom suspension, powder coated too. And the, uh, the low rider Regal, but we'll walk back over to that after. Right, we have this pretty sweet Subaru Brat. What an insane spot for your tire to be, your spare tire to be located right in your engine bay. That's wild. I love these seats actually. I don't think I've ever noticed those. Manual T-tops with factory jump seats in the rear. There's a little step to get up in here. I mean, what a cool truck. Like this is, this is like probably one of the, on the cooler side of some of the things that Subaru has made. Right over here we have the little Mitsubishi. Mighty Max. Pickup. Clean. And I think we got like a mid 90s, later 90s uh, Chevy, probably C1500 or something. On some American racing wheels. Those are actually pretty big. Now ah, look at it. Clean color. Like a metallic, say root beer. We'll get fun with it. <laughs> trying, to, trying to think what it is. I like it. This is a clean truck. What size are these? Must be like 22, 20. They're 20 as well. They look huge. So this is a huge W for uh, for mini trucks in New England. Adam's truck was just a frame last year at this show. And now it's a truck. <laughs> um, these are some, some wheels sneak peek at what he's got going on for another truck, but you don't get to know that yet. Unless you're here and you know. But LS on the old Foose wheels, it's so cool. Beautiful though, we painted this all up, white with a crazy flake. Complete custom frame. Look, the amp is uh, recessed in his bed, like where his tailgate would have been. The Rockford Fosgate's peeking out. And a 55 Chevrolet Bel Air Dash. Got another 90s style truck on this side. Ooh, on some Impala wheels. Nice little C-notch back there. Shaved bumper, billet grill, clear headlights, cowl hood. Ooh, and yes, the purple accents, like the seat belt. The purple stitching in the seat is a huge plus. Little, little things like that, that you might not see at first, and then it just like, wow, really, really stands out to you. Right over here is this beautiful Chevy C10, a little Cheyenne, fully shaved, with some nice, clean, white dish wheels. That bench seat is sick, with cup holders in there, good way to Get cup holders in your truck if you don't have them, right there. Raised floor bed. This is nuts. Then right over here we have the GMC Yukon from down to earth. All tubbed back there. The blue accent. It was like one of my favorite trucks to see. Again with the billet. Real clear headlights. Ooh, and I like these. These are kind of frosted like a white. Little oh, bro's got a cool little RC car. Lowrider. That's so sweet, man. <laughs> That's so cool. 
Wow, this is on hydros. Old school low rider bomb, I'm pretty sure. Wow. That is cool. It's a pretty sweet car to see. All the designs going down it, the beautiful paint. Ah, oh, that's a cool little Grant wheel. Wood grain red interior. An Oldsmobile. All right, we're gonna run through this line. We got the stitches, Chevy C1500 on air laid right out. We have this awesome DeSoto with a triple card sticking out of the hood. Just a very custom style. Oh, and that cool roof design. I didn't even notice it until I got right up next to it. The Chevrolet 3100 rolling through. Sounds pretty good, bagged and all. Wow, and the paint. So right over here we have two patina trucks. This one is a Ford, probably about 48-ish, somewhere around there, rat rod style. And another rat rod style Dodge, but this one's a little insane. Big turbo Cummins, shaved engine bay, <clears throat> body dropped, I figure, with the raised floor pan. I, I want to say it's body drop, but it's just very cool. All the custom work that went into this thing. Look at the smokestack, the soot in the back of there. And it's an old Dodge. Like, that's just unreal. Like, the taillights alone are just so sick. Right over here, we have a 64 Chevrolet Impala. Insane roof design. And to match it, the dash. That's just crazy. We got another 64 Impala right here. This one is in gold and tan. I love the gold accents. That like, I, when I build my little rider, I definitely want some gold in there. Here, I believe is a 62, we're gonna go with 62 on this one. Brownish, it's like a metallic light brown, gold tan interior. Being a convertible is like insane. And then you come down here in the insane paint. Lots of gold accents as well on this one. And it is an SS. And the Monte Carlo is on hitting switches coming in. This is just, it's super simple. Looks like he was having a ton of fun hitting switches. Extremely nice in here. Wow. I love this color too. On this side is this nice blue Cadillac Fleetwood. Pretty crazy sub setup on the deck lid. And uh, one thing I wanted to show you guys while I'm over here is this is nasty. It's a Ford Crown Victoria. Isn't that so sick? I, I have not, I don't feel like you ever see Crown Victorias like this in general, let alone on wires. And this is, I was checking this out from way back. It's a 70s Monty on wires. Even more nasty. <laughs> Headlight visors. Oh, it's an old Cadillac. That is a beautiful color. What is that? Like a blue tinted, like, like, like a silvery blue. That's cool to me. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna walk down here. Right over here, we have Richie's '64 traditional custom style lowrider Impala. Little walk around. And right over here with him is this traditional custom style Thunderbird. Never thought I'd see something like this. Look at that center dash. It goes all the way down to the center console. Oh, and the steering wheel tilts out of your way to the side. That's insane. Even featuring some side pipes. This thing just looks insanely good laid out. Right over here we have the 64 two-door Impala wagon with a crazy roof design. Sorry to run through these. Trying to avoid that copyright. That's another 64 Impala. Real, real low. Yellow. I think a 64. Like in Continental. It's insanely sick. Oh, and the light. Yeah, that's unreal. And it looks right here that we have a uh, just a pretty nice stock Buick Regal. Definitely has some serious potential. And I love these taillights. Dude, I love the big barn doors on the old. I, I think it's a Suburban. We'll call it a Suburban. Unfortunately, I gotta run through because I don't wanna get copyright strike, but we got this insane Regal right here, all silver. 
up on three wheels goes so hard. This is this beautiful 64 Impala with a green paint. Look at that in the sunlight, white interior. And lastly, all chromed out, engraved, white and yellow interior, gold accents all the way engraved down to the Impala. Just the quality in these builds is wild. I had to show you guys real fast with the 64, some of these old school pictures, but look at this right here. I understand, I lived it too, so it's so cool to see. And those pictures go so hard now, and just really help tell the story of a beautiful car. And now we'll do a little walk around on Ronzoni's Buick Regal. I love the ruined wheel in there. That headliner is so sick. I've never seen something like that. Sorry to keep saying everything is sick and cool. I mean, it just is. It's hard, it's hard to find other words for it because there is no other words. This is just nasty. It's insane. Everything has just been touched on this car. It's, it's wild. LS swap and the gold wire wheels. All custom striped out by him. Nice little 69 C28 Camaro rolling through. I'm gonna grab a pretty sweet little clip of this rat rod. Sorry, man. It's got an Alpenheiser heads. It's a flathead V8 with triple carbs, a little Pepsi bottle for the coolant reservoir on BBSs with some just insane interior and 59 Cadillac taillights in the rear. Now we're gonna go watch Ronnie uh, bounce the bumper off the ground. Not bad. No. Woo! <laughs> the car battery shut off came out on its own. That's so funny. Hey, not bad. So I'm parked up over here now. A little bit, a uh, little bit better real estate. That's pretty uh, far out back there, and everybody else had moved. So this is sick. <laughs> RC version in action. Check this out, they got all the little rider bikes together too. <laughs> oh, like one of my favorite shows to attend every year just because of the quality of builds alone is just insane. Like, what an insane show. All right guys, this is this is pretty nasty. We got best mini truck at the Ruin Car Club barbecue, which is insane. That was not something I would have expected at all. So, huge W, that's super, super cool. Like, Super rewarding feeling, so I'm like really thankful and really hyped. All right, guys, so we're gonna be piecing out of here today. What a crazy show! Thank you so much to everybody involved, Ruin Car Club, Ronnie for hosting us. I hate him graphics and all the sponsors. We will uh be heading home now to go work on the black truck, little rider, build some more. Always a uh, good motivation. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.